Welcome back to This Morning on Vice at One. The question is, are you a priority or an option when it comes to your relationship? Well, let's see what some people had to say on that, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk with our expert guest. I have been in a relationship, I find myself being an option, yeah. Um, I can't remember my last relationship, I found myself, um, I was with this lady and she was not checking up on me regularly. Whenever it's my birthday, she would just turn up on me. If she, would just, she would not come. If I call her to come around, she, she would not even show up. She would be giving me excuses here and there. So I realized this thing is not working. So I believe that she was with someone. So I just decided to back up. Yeah, I've been in a relationship that I, let, I found out that I was an option. Okay, from the beginning, I didn't know I was an option until it got to a point that I noticed that I was blocked on WhatsApp when it was my birthday. And I really, I was really expecting him to be the first person to wish me a happy birthday, but he didn't. And so I was really sad that day. He later called to apologize and everything. But as time went on, I noticed that the attention that he was giving me from the beginning wasn't there any longer. So I just called him once and then he told me he was really busy at work. And he um, accepted to meet me once a certain day, the point we went there, he told me he was already in another relationship so we had to end it. It was, it was, I was really hurt and I'm, I'm okay now. I have a relationship, I feel myself as a top of a priority because my woman always calls me and choke up on me. Makes me feel like I have, I have, I'm the most point, important person. I've been in a relationship and uh, I'm currently married. Uh, I married my wife because she made me a priority in her life. She was always there. Um, some of the things I do know, even expect from her, she was available to do it. And uh, I was so happy with her. I, she gives me the option to, to, to move on in life. She was inspiring. Uh, she, she, she made me as a focus, obviously. So that's, uh, she made me uh, uh, obvious priority. Because of that, I married her. No, I've never found myself as an option because the relationship I was in, I would try to this relationship I'm in. No? I feel I'm a priority because she always checks, on, checks up on me. I'm the first person she talks to when she wakes up, when she's going to bed. I think I'm the last person I talk to, um, she talks to. She's always there to check up on me, how work is and all of that. So I don't see myself as an option. Good morning to Amos Kevin Annan, one of our favorites who we haven't seen in a while. You've been gallivanting and a happy belated birthday. Yeah, Thank it was you. your birthday yesterday. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, we're having a party today. Wow. Yeah. At whose expense? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Praise yeah. the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's happy. Let's yeah, give everybody. it up. No, 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 seriously. Yes. Until this Hausa Koko is ready mm, by now. Okay. So we we'll just do that and yeah. Okay. Hausa Koko. Yes. See, isn't that? That's it's healthy. Nice. It's millet. It's good you for see, you. see, you're not a priority, you're an option. <laughs> <laughs> Give me you a tea at Oh, okay. Hey, you welcome. didn't consult me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay. Good listening to, to those box box, yeah. yeah I, I'm actually surprised at the number of men mm -hmm. who were in there because when you think of attention in relationships, I think a lot of us automatically think about women mm -hmm. that women like attention, and, but it men like attention. Too. <laughs> I think like attention everybody too. likes attention. Yes. Of course, men tend to be suspicious when. The attention is too much because oftentimes women will ride on the back of attention provision looking for certain largesse. Mm -hmm. okay. And so men become skeptical when the attention is coming because it's not a regular thing they receive all the time. Mm -hmm. But for women, heavy doses of attention is even better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're not so with men. Yeah. Okay. At, at what point would you feel you are either an option or a priority? At what point in a relationship? I think we would have to look at the state of that relationship. Okay. Is it pre-marriage relationship? Mm -hmm. It is marriage relationship. Mm -hmm. Is it mar if it's within marriage, for instance, is it a stressful marriage? Mm -hmm. Is it a marriage that has unresolved issues? Mm -hmm. 
is on the cliffhanger condition right. mm -hmm. or is a stable, fairly good marriage. Right, okay. So you have to look at one case after the other. Mm -hmm. You cannot have one fix, I mean, one fit all situation. Okay. So let's look at marriages. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at marriages and, and find out now, what time you if it is within marriage, yeah. we look at the health of the marriage. Mm -hmm. If it is not healthy, clearly one will sacrifice the other party, mm -hmm. even though they say you are significant. Mm -hmm. Now your significance is replaced with a different activity that engages them. Right. And so you become secondary instead mm -hmm. of primary. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're having crisis in the marriage, it means that you need to deal with the crisis. And when the crisis is dealt with, mm -hmm. you would be restored back to a place of priority. Mm -hmm. Now, reducing somebody to a non-priority is unfair. Mm -hmm. We must underscore that. If somebody comes into your life and contributes certain significant input into your life and makes you um, a better person than previously, mm -hmm. you would have to appreciate by reciprocating that gesture. Yeah. Because they have prioritized you. Like one gentleman said that he was prioritized by the lady before they got they married. Got married yeah. And after marriage, is still continuing. That's clearly significant. And mm -hmm. he's going to reciprocate that gesture. Mm -hmm. So here's a case. A young man was running after a lady, you know, using um, cleave and not mm -hmm. get tired. You know, mm -hmm. you leave, you cleave, yeah. and you become. Yeah. And that phase, the middle phase, which is cleave, which means chase after and not get tired. Mm -hmm. Don't have a fatigue. Mm -hmm. Some men chase these women and mm -hmm. not, never got tired. But after marriage, deja vu. Mm. Fait accompli. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they, it, come, yeah. they come into those situations yes. and now they begin to take for granted things that were significant. Right. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to human relations, whether pre or within marital mm -hmm. union, the small things are actually the big things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like remembering birth yeah. dates. Birth dates, significant celebrations, mm -hmm. an Tips. outing once in a while. Um, small tokens mm. with you in mind about yeah. a token. It yeah. could be a brooch, but once I had you in mind, mm -hmm. and I said, okay, I have this for you. Mm -hmm. it, it sends a signal that, you know, when I'm out there, I'm it is not you. absent in body yeah. and absent in mind, but mm -hmm. absent in body, but present in mind. I like that. So for okay. example, is it a point where a lady will not, will not be chatting you up, will not be calling to check up on you, but then once she runs out of credit, she'll call you and say, I need credit, then you, you, you buy. Or she'll not mind you and say, oh, I'm hungry, can you take me out for lunch? That becomes exploitative. Okay. That becomes exploitative. So you are not a priority, you are an option. You are, you are an option. I mean, yeah. there are alternatives. Okay. And in this world of alternatives. Okay. Mm. All right, we have some examples. Some people yeah. have written in, they've mm -hmm. sent letters. Okay. So let's see right. what the first letter okay. is about. Hello, Patrice and Cook Queen. My boyfriend of eight months is suddenly behaving in a way that is really upsetting. My calls, texts, emails, Facebook messages and so on all go unanswered. Sometimes it takes him about two days to respond to my messages or calls. In this day and age, almost everyone is constantly attached to their phones, so I know he sees it. I've tried on two occasions to end the relationship because it gives me a headache. However, every time I do, he showers me with gifts and even luxury trips sometimes. I just want to know if I'm a priority to this man at all. Although I must say, his gifts makes me feel like he really cares about me. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice. <laughs> okay. So what happens to yes. this? Yeah. Well, I mean, clearly, um, you see, some individuals are also attention mm. freaks. Mm. And, and, and they never get tired of attention. Therefore, mm. whatever you give them will still not suffice. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have to distinguish those individuals from right. this lady. Now, if it takes a person two days to respond to a text message, mm -hmm. for instance, yesterday I got over 500 mm -hmm. messages. Mm -hmm. How am mm -hmm. I going to be able to respond to all, all 500? Uh, in a day and so you may be expecting an appreciation from my end, uh -huh. acknowledgement uh -huh. of receipt. Yes. Yes. It takes two days, three days. That, that, but then that means that's because of the schedule of the individual. But then that means you're not a that. priority. No, because you are if you were a priority. A priority you that's see, the first the point message is, you receive. You are a priority, point. but there are other priorities around mm. you. Mm. On the scale. Mm. You see, mm. you see Kokoi, okay. 
look at it. You are in an office space. You go, to, you drive from home 4:30 mm -hmm. to beat the traffic. Mm -hmm. You get to the office and you you are saddled with work. Mm -hmm. You have a plethora of messages coming that mm -hmm. you need to respond to, which have a relationship to do with your work. Right. Now you give those attention because that requires immediacy. Mm -hmm. Any other one can be deferred. For two days? Now, for no, two days, okay. he may have reason. You see, the thing is, we are very quick to judge. It's okay. like this judge's case that has yeah. come. <laughs> we are quick to condemn. Mm. There's no grace. We are not even thinking of the families mm -hmm. and the impact on them. Mm -hmm. Now, why are we always quick to judge and draw conclusions when mm. we have not diagnosed the problems or the, the issues. The basis yeah. for which the mm -hmm. two days have been. Okay, but Amos, in her letter, she said Unless it was recent. Yeah, yeah, it was a recent <laughs> thing, that, yeah. which means before, before there was no problem. Mm -hmm. So it could be that then, his shadow has changed. Fine. Then she says that. when she tries to break it off, then he showers her. So he knows he's not doing what he's supposed to do. Is it and, network, he, and then he problem. tries. <laughs> let's say this, let's say this way. No. We all speak different love dialects. Thank you. Okay. Some have a heavy dialect of mm -hmm. attention. Mm -hmm. You've got to be there when they need you, and when you come, when they don't need you, a nuisance. Yeah. You, are, you are there, but mm -hmm. they actually don't need you, so you're a nuisance. Yeah. It's like in a Greek, when you plant maize, mm -hmm. and you find cassava there, the uh, cassava well, may be edible, but, but it's weed, not, yeah, yeah. per the Greek mm -hmm. definition of weed. So those individuals, and then there are those who are givers. They, mm -hmm. they give, and they are, they are speaking love mm -hmm. by giving. Mm -hmm. So they shower you with gifts and gifts, but they may not have the luxury of time to sit with you. That does not mean they don't love you. Okay, so when attention wanes, does it mean that you, your, your level of priority is being diminished to becoming just an option? As long as you don't become paranoid mm -hmm. about the situation. Sometimes it's the case that, oh, because she has won, I have failed. When mm -hmm. you have that zero mindset, mm -hmm. it's dangerous for okay. a relationship. You should have always a tendency that brings win-win. Mm -hmm. You may win sometimes, you may lose sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be always possible for the person to call you all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not going to be possible for the person to respond to your text all the time. Mm -hmm. I fast from Facebook sometimes. Right. So there was a whole month I was not on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I stayed away from WhatsApp for mm -hmm. three months. Right. <laughs> With all my shadows, I mm -hmm. stayed away. Because I realized that there was a need to break off and engage with other aspects of life. Mm. And life is bigger than just social connections. I know, but we're talking about relationships. Yes. So your, yes. your, your partner, for example, your mm -hmm. partner, things that you used to do, you see is doing them. So for example, you used to drive here to work. Now you, you don't, or you Those pick her from work. Those stuff that uh -huh. are Exactly. Mm -hmm. You used to pick her from work. Now yeah. you, you have stopped. When it's a birthday, you don't mind, you don't mm -hmm. care. You don't buy her gifts anymore. Uh, if it so happens that, uh, okay, I just found my way to this place and I bought you that. It's not that, oh, come, let's go to Chinese regal restaurant, but <laughs> I just bought you papaya and... Is that yeah. why you've been hanging out? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him again. No. Revelations. <laughs> no, you no, see, I was trying point, to respond yeah. to the ladies' yeah, one yeah, exactly, without yeah, broadening yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. But okay. once you broadened it, mm. you see, whenever there's a change in attitude, right. in posture, in gesture, mm. there's a need for us to understand what has brought the change. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the individual will need to communicate his change in status, his change in work schedule, mm. and all that. So oftentimes, that is not communicated. Mm. It is assumed that the person will understand. Yeah. But okay. you don't do that in a relational context. Mm. You need to disclose. Full disclosure is always very important. Okay. It's a cardinal and a pivotal part of the health of the relationship. Okay. Because okay. if I leave things to assumptions, I leave mm. things to conjecture, mm. I'm not building the relationship mm. and it's going to diminish with time. The interest in each other is going to just fall flat. Okay, okay. we'll go for the second letter, but before they just keep thinking this, would you, would you consider the fact that, for example, if the person is neglected certain activities that he or she used to do before, but then focuses on other people with those same or similar activities, would you say priority is shifted? Because, for example, the person is quick to call their mom and say, hey, happy birthday, mom, or happy birthday, dad, or happy birthday, da, 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 da. but when it's your birthday, they don't care. Yeah. Or they can quickly rush and help somebody out. I'm going to pick this person here, but when you are the one supposed yeah. to be picked to the market or something, eh, Charlie, some way. Okay. Let's All take right. the second letter and we'll be right back. Hi, my name is Nikki. My boyfriend and I have been dating for about two years. 
Throughout our relationship, all interaction happens behind closed doors and when he has no campaign, there are never date nights or outings. He has refused to introduce me to even his siblings, saying he wants to be sure I'm really the one before he makes any introduction. One time when I was with him, a call came in from his big sister in the US. I was singing in the background and when the lady asked who it was, he said it was the radio. I was really hurt, but he keeps assuring me that I'm the love of his life. Do you guys think he's being honest with me or I'm simply not important to him? Hmm, okay. Well, let's welcome Mr. Thomas Havel to the studio as well, mm. a counselor who's also going to discuss this topic with us. Okay, so here's a case mm. where this lady is feeling neglected by her significant mm. other because he's not revealing her yeah. to the people who are close to him. I remember once, my, one piece of advice my dad gave me mm. was that if a man avoids meeting your family, mm. Forget it. He's not serious about you. Anyway, okay, let's go to our counselors on this one, <laughs> Amos. Well, it's unfortunate. You know, we signed off before you went to the mm. reading on the note of full disclosure. Yeah. Yes. Disclosures are very important. And undisclosed intentions and agenda would always breed suspicion, mm -hmm. would always engender mistrust. Mm -hmm. And emotional distance is more frightening than physical distance. Mm -hmm. And there are couples who are watching who may be divorced, but physically they are living together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, so this lady is going to get into that emotional state of distance mm -hmm. because she sees the gentleman sacrificing her for family priorities. Mm -hmm. The gentleman needs to be understood that his primary relationship is his family. Yeah. Mm. Now, this new relationship he's developing with the lady mm -hmm. is a secondary one, and more especially when it is not consummated. Okay. You see, consummation makes a lot mm -hmm. of difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because at consummation, you leave father and mother and be joined to your spouse. Right. Mm -hmm. And that is not to mean that you abandon them, mm -hmm. but you detach mm -hmm. so that you form a new set of family. Mm -hmm. Now, that will mean that from time to time, you oscillate between the two. Yeah. And how you juggle around with those mm -hmm. two, you know, roles mm -hmm. are critical. Mm -hmm. And that's why talking, communication is always, is at the heart of every relationship. Right. Unfortunately, for many of our young friends, it's all about touching more than talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you get a man to touch you more, he talks less. Oh, ah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's ask Thomas on this one. But everybody would want to feel like they are number one in a relationship. So if you're in a situation where your partner prioritizes his family over you, does that become a warning sign that if I'm supposed to settle down with this person, am I always going to come second to his family in our relationship? Well, um, sorry, I came in late. Yes. Uh, the traffic was... Uh, yeah. So bad, yeah. I drove for almost one and a half hours. Mm, wow. getting, so I'm sorry. sorry. Um, we're talking about relationship. Uh, I would start by saying that relationship is so essential, even for God, who created us. Mm. That's why He does not exist alone. Mm. He exists in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they work together in unity, you know, mm. and understanding. And so when it, we bring it down to the human level, it means that we need to actually understand what a relationship is all about. Mm -hmm. We need to, uh, to, first of all, initiate it, mm -hmm. uh, nature it, develop it, let mm -hmm. it grow, and uh, it should not be an issue of time. Yeah. And in this relationship, because we are different, differently made, you realize that uh, we do not know ourselves. Mm -hmm. I see most of the people who are into relationship, their major problem is the fact that they do not know each other because God has created us all differently. Mm -hmm. And until you work towards knowing each other, who you are, who I am, it will be very difficult. Okay. It, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's take the last uh, item and then we'll come back. Hello, Patrice and Kokui. My name is Kofi. I have been with my girl for a little over two years. She's 24 and I am 30 years. She told me from the beginning that she was seeing an older man who is supporting her in school. Because I loved this lady, I decided to stick around hoping that she will end things with him after school. It's been five months now since she completed university but she's still seeing the man. 
She even introduced me to the man as her cousin and the man to me as her godfather. Sometimes the man even sends me gifts through my girlfriend. The problem is I feel she's too attached to the man. She gives me little attention and is always giving excuses when I need her. Is she just using me? Am I her priority at all? Kofi, Kofi, okay. Amos, this young man, as we saw, is in a relationship where his girlfriend mm. belongs to an older man. Um, someone who has seen her through school. And, obviously, and, predating. Obviously, yes. yes. <laughs> so, uh, what should he do? <laughs> well, I mean, this is one sad situation today mm. where people are in one relationship and are not satisfied and are looking outside for another relationship, maybe for a particular activity or benefit. Others, for instance, the first one may be a sexual one and the other would be financial. Mm -hmm. The other would be out, outings and mm -hmm. the other is more an aesthetic uh, representation of something. Now, the red flags are right in front of Kofi. Mm -hmm. These are dangerous days. For a lady who could tell you that this person is my cousin, then becomes Godfather. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. gradually, there's going to be a shift, mm -hmm. a shift until it hits you like a, a boomerang mm -hmm. in your face. Mm -hmm. Then you begin to go psychiatric mm -hmm. because many mm -hmm. of these young men, then they go berserk. Mm -hmm. That's right. They fume, they rage, mm -hmm. they, they imagine evil, mm -hmm. they become suicidal. They become depressed over a period of time. So there's a need for him to begin to evaluate his life. Why would you, if somebody actually tells you boldly that, look, I'm in a relationship with someone else, whether it's financial or whatever, yeah. should you still pursue that person if you think you have a chance, oh, well, she's not married, so let me try and take her from this person? Or let me, should you still pursue that? Is there a chance that you could break off whatever it is and, and have the person to yourself? Oh, well, Thomas, you can think yeah. that, yeah. To love is a decision, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's a choice. Okay. And you cannot be in, in two mm -hmm. uh, love uh, situations at mm -hmm. the same, same time, point. and you cannot also make a choice for two at the same time. It mm -hmm. must be one. Mm -hmm. And that is how it should be. Any relationship that starts in that situation is bound to fail. Mm -hmm. And all of them are going to be victims, the, the yeah. old man, the lady, and the young man, mm -hmm. they are all going to be victims. Unfortunately, we do not, when these things are happening, we are not looking at ahead of time to see what are the things that are going to happen. Can I withstand mm -hmm. these things? Yeah. And it hits us, and as it uh, said, it becomes like a boomerang, and uh, mm -hmm. you end up in a so situation. So if you advise this young man, what is it? Straightforward. The, the young man really needs counseling. <laughs> you see, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, yes. and I keep saying everywhere I go is that, you see, people do not know what is relationship. Yeah. Mm. They do not know what is the purpose of the relationship mm. and what I would say God's plan for relationship. Okay, let's hold it there and talk to Jifa and come back. Hello, good morning, Jifa. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, please, Uncle, I want to ask. Um, please, if your boyfriend gives you everything, like gives you almost everything he wants. He sends you money, he sends you the credit. But to have time with you personally, does not mean also you are not his priority? But he calls you, sends you money financially, everything. But to just spend time with you. And he will tell you he's busy at work. But he's not also busy. Sometimes they are not busy, but he just tell you they are busy. Does he also think he's not your priority? Oh, okay. 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 These are some of the red flags, mm -hmm. clearly. Uh, that people are looking for virtual relationship and not visible mm -hmm. relationships. Mm -hmm. um, I've had situations where the young man will talk with you, send you stuff, but he doesn't want to meet with you. Mm -hmm. He just wants to have this mindset that he has you as in his life. 
Hmm. And some ladies have the same. And these are virtual relationships yeah. that leads to nowhere. Uh -huh. Others are also looking for escapades. He wants one time opportunity. Mm -hmm. He just go pop, pop, pop. He's done with his mm -hmm. project. Off he disappears. But he will still keep an arm's okay. length mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. connection with you. So this lady needs to sit down and look at her life. What are my own priorities? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have priorities as right. a significant individual, mm -hmm. who is going to prioritize you? Mm, okay. And each one of us has a price. And yeah. if yeah. your price is paid for, whoever pays your price, bingo. Mm. Should your priorities it. determine the priorities of the other person? Exactly. Yeah. Anybody who comes into your life okay. is going to become an augmenter to your life, right. a helpmate. Mm -hmm. right. So what are they going to help you with if you don't have any? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But for this example, mm -hmm. for instance, Jifa, she says the guy works a lot and can't mm -hmm. spend time with her. So maybe through working, he's able to pay her credit, send her money, mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. Would she prefer he didn't work as much and didn't have as much money to give her the material things she likes? Because I'm sure she, she enjoys having it. the okay. gifts. Let's okay. talk to Joe. Good morning, Joe. Hello. Hello. Hi, Great. Joe. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, Koki, please, yeah. you, were, you were saying something that um, is it your father or your, your, your grandfather? Said that uh, before your grandfather. My father. father. Yes, yes. If, if you're in a relationship and then the, the guy doesn't teach you to the parents, it, your, yeah, your father, I, I, I want to uh, see that that as untrue. Because if you're in a relationship with someone, you, you have to study the person. You have to really know certain things about the person well. It is not just taking the person to the, 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 the family means that you love the person. You really need to study the person well. Certain marriages are getting broken now because of certain behaviors of the ladies. It is really dangerous just to see somebody three months, six months, and then take the person to see your parents. You really need to do a background check. You really need to know the person you are going out with. Know how, certain things about the person. In your estimation, like, in your estimation, how like long should it take you? you wait at those things. In your estimation, yeah. how long should it take you to examine somebody before you introduce them to your parents? Uh, probably, I'm not saying. It, the, uh, uh, it, should, it, should, it should not be less than six months because uh, and, and it, it, it all boils down to the person. If there, 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 there are some people you can you can never finish studying them. <laughs> so you just answered the question. <laughs> you, 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 you know? yeah, that is why even some people get married and it is broken. Thank you, Joe. I think Joe also <laughs> answered the question himself. Thank you, Joe. Because it can't... It, I mean, how would you assess the person? I know. It's but just tough. Yes, there is a phenomenon I call the allure of the amour. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, many people develop relationships uh -huh. before they even build friendships. Yes. Mm -hmm. We skip a vital mm -hmm. foundational development in future serious engagement, mm -hmm. which is called friendship. That's right. Right. And friendship tends to be very innocent. Mm -hmm. You don't have high expectations, yeah. but you are careful, you're observing. Mm -hmm. And because see, the moment you meet someone and say, I'm in love with you, let's develop a relationship, they have to be careful not to resurrect any scarecrows mm -hmm. because that will make you run away. Yeah, that's right. And so this fabricated artificial environment is mm -hmm. created where all the niceties, all the pleasant mm -hmm. language is used. You consummate it into marriage. Now you begin to realize the full force of the character of the individual, mm -hmm. the personality, how he handles anger, how he manages disagreement, how he wants to take decisions. Mm -hmm. And all these things begin to surface, and you wonder, is that the one I chose to marry? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. Thomas. Well, yeah. uh, just to follow up from mm -hmm. where he uh, said that uh, friendship is very crucial. Mm -hmm. And it's not a one day sort of thing. Exactly. You've made a choice, you've made a decision. Mm -hmm. And as I said much earlier, you need to nature this friendship. Yeah. Uh, to tell you, it is this friendship, if well developed, that is what will sustain your relationship when you get married and when even your children are gone. Right. Because by then, uh, there is nothing to get All you. The at, uh, is gone. Yeah, no, no, no attachment. No, no, no <laughs> attachment. Yeah. So it is the two yeah. of you. Mm -hmm. If you didn't develop the friendship properly mm -hmm. from the beginning, when everything is left, all the children are gone, you realize that you have nothing to cling on to. And that is the, the point where we've realized many people are breaking apart. Okay, let's mm. just let, what, what the, the young man said. It, 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 we're just dovetailing it. Yes, yes. What time is it appropriate to introduce your better half, so to speak, to 
family, to friends, and all that. Does it make it a priority or not a priority if, if you don't introduce them? Like, you don't take them out to meet your friends and all that? Well, mm -hmm. why do you shield your friends from your family? That's right. Mm -hmm. You see, many make a fixation around this introduction thing, mm -hmm. and it becomes almost like a, a god, a deity. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you're a friend to someone, mm -hmm. your family folks know That's this right. is my brother's friend, mm -hmm. That's, That's my right. sister's That's friend. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with we are going to marry. No. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. for many of us, we meet mm -hmm. in the office. Oh, I'm interested in you. Yeah. you know, can we go out on a date? You uh, go on a date, uh, uh, and dates now have become marriages, and marriages right. have become something <laughs> <Yeah>. else. <laughs> That's, you see, if you're single, behave yeah. and carry yourself as a single. That's yeah. right. Don't behave like a married person. Right. And hope that when you marry, because when you marry, the law of diminishing returns will hit you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Aisha. Good morning. Aisha. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yes, Aisha, Aisha. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, Aisha. Aisha, go ahead. Okay. Aisha, well, like the we connection is bad. Yes. Yes. There are couples who are married for like six months, and it's almost mm. like they've been married for six years. Mm. Yes. Mm. They're overly familiar with each mm. other and getting tired of each other. Mm. Mm. It's because there's no friendship. You see, when you build okay. friendship, yeah. it's That's the right. foundation on which you're future decisions were key. 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 Yeah. key let's not miss that okay but so that's a okay I'm, I'm still i still yeah. Can yeah. I say something mm. quickly you see there is one area that many people including the young people are mm. overlooking mm -hmm. as i said uh, earlier god has made us all differently mm. yeah. you don't know me i don't know you and i uh, would always uh, use two circles mm -hmm. to demonstrate this where the up, right mm -hmm. from the beginning, you realize like, that's more area. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. what we know about each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the beauty, your education, your mm -hmm. height, uh, your mm -hmm. family and all that. But relationship goes beyond that. Right. And because people are finding it difficult, people who come into our ministry, we encourage them to do what we call a temperament analysis, analysis profile. Yeah. Okay. And this temperament analysis profile tells you how God has made you mm -hmm. to about 99.8%. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it shows your weaknesses and your Screen. strength. And in many cases, people are all just acting in their weaknesses. Mm -hmm. It is when you discover your strength that you say, ah, mm -hmm. I have missed a lot. Yeah. And the moment you begin to shift to your strength, you become a completely different person. And if these people are going to marry, it comes to a point where we ask them to exchange these profiles in mm -hmm. our present and let them read it and study. They say, oh, this is what my, my spouse is made of. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's been shouting. This is his weakness. The man himself knows that this is my weakness. So I have to make adjustments, right. you know, and this goes to ev throughout <laughs> every aspect it's, of it's, our it's marriage. It's a difficult thing for people, yes. but so long and as the two of you are around and many more other people <laughs> yes, are, yes, I'm sure yes. people can call on you. That's right. I'll put right. the number out today too. But related by the two of you, it's difficult to do. Today's my birthday. Today's your birthday. Today's your birthday. Oh, happy birthday. This morning show, this is something. This is something. The party is coming up. Today's birthday. And you've come to spend it with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to you, Thomas. Yes, and happy related birthday to you, Kevin. Well. So, oh. Thank you so much for watching the show today. It's been a great moment coming your way.